Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and you're in my laundry room. Why are you in my laundry room? Well, that's because that's where my Dremel 3D Idea Builder's at, and I, I need to tell you a little bit more about this machine. Uh, so, so let's do this. You ready? Go. So the Dremel 3D Idea Builder is one of the most searched for things that, that lead people to my channel. People seem to love this device or they want to know more about it. So I, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna take a little bit of time here to tell you a little bit more about it. So Dremel originally sent this to me as a review unit. They said, please do a review and then you can keep the printer. And I was like, all right, whatever, you know, it's, it's the idea builder. It's PLA only, that's what they say, and it doesn't have a heated bed and it's got a smallish build chamber and proprietary filaments and and all that sort of stuff, but but no, no, this is this is a wonderful machine. This is the Dremel 3D Idea Builder is easily one of my favorite printers to go to if I just want something to print like that. Some of the things I've done are improve the mechanism to hold the filament. So the filament usually goes here on the inside, but then I can't use third-party filament. So I used some protopasta carbon fiber PLA and I built this and I built this spool holder. And as you can see, spools go on go on really easily. So what I do is I just put it on like that and I take this big this big binder clip. Look at that. And I put that right there. And the reason being, as the print head travels back and forth, the roll has a tendency to migrate. So this keeps it from migrating all the way to the end. This is the super premium filament from Boots Industries and it prints really well. In fact, here look at this. This is this looks familiar, right? This is that's Ray's gun from Star Wars. Yeah. I printed this using that Boots PLA filament on the Dremel Idea Builder and it came out it came out really well. So if you remember a while back I did this filament shootout where I printed this on this machine to judge the, the quality of filaments and and uh, the, the Boots filament, it worked really well, and the Dremel, again, did a fantastic, a fantastic job on printing this. The other thing that I did to this printer to, to improve what, what I think was already good was, was I added some build tech, some actual honest-to-goodness build tech. I know, I know Dremel supplied a, a sheet that goes on there, but the, the build tech just, it feels better. And if you look at this model, here, let me get a little closer. That is Nefertiti. And this model was printed at, no joke, 0 0.1 millimeter layers. Yeah, it turned out, it turned out fantastic. Look at that. Oh, it's amazing. Well, here, let's, let's pull it off the build plate. It should go off. There we go. And there it is. Support comes off easy. There's a trash over there. I threw it in the trash. Oh yeah, a little bit of cleanup on the model. Be good to go. There we go. I don't know if you can, let's see if I can get it close enough. You can actually judge the detail. But that that's 0 0.1 millimeter layers. Yeah, I'm, I am, I am continually, continually impressed with this printer. And I, I don't think, I, let's see, I said it was a good printer in my review, but, but after using it more and more and more, if you can get your hands on one, you're going to end up with it, with an incredibly reliable and consistent machine. I did, I did, did finally stop using the software that it came with and I used Simplify 3D in order to to slice the models for it. I did hear from someone that it's not necessarily PLA only and I and I did get a plated nozzle from Protopasta to put in there. So I could be printing some exotic filaments. If, if that's something that you'd like to see let me know and I can film installing the nozzle and printing something in a protopasta exotic filament. That's really it for now.
I just wanted to update you on this printer and I, I wanted you to know that I'm continually impressed with its consistency. If you, Like I said, if you have the chance to pick up one of these printers, I, I, I recommend it. It's been, it's been a phenomenal printer for my use and paired with Simplify 3D, it's, it's nearly unstoppable in what it does. Hey guys, thanks for, thanks for spending some time in my laundry room. I, I really appreciate it. Like this video if you have a Dremel 3D Idea Builder yourself and you like it, or, or maybe give it a thumbs up if this was, this was useful information and helped you decide something. Leave a comment down below if you have more questions about this printer or if you, 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 you want me to expand on things I talked about in this video here. A big thanks to my patrons who support me through Patreon.com. I really appreciate your support. Again, all I ask for is a social high five every once in a while, but if you've got an extra dollar a month and you throw it my way, I'll put it to good use. All right, I think it's time for me to switch the load from the washer to the dryer, so I'm going to go do that. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for spending some time with me tonight, and as always, high five.